Slasher movies are a dime a dozen, but great slasher movies, they're harder to come by. Killer Book Club, or El Club de los Lectores Criminales, is now on Netflix. It's got a unique premise, but a very familiar execution. So should you add it to your watch list? Eight young university students meet weekly in a book club to share their passion for horror literature. After being accomplices in a costume prank that ends in tragedy, they make a pact of silence, but the group is then threatened by an anonymous writer who wants to reveal their dark secret. The storyline of a group of college students getting together to read scary stories reminds me a bit of Dead Poet Society, with actual death. I mean, it's fun to see the different personalities, even though they're very cliche and obvious. Now, there's not a ton of development in the players, but we get to know enough about them in quick succession that we can choose who to root for and against. As several of them, they're designed to be off-putting, whether it's because of hubris, stupidity, or just good old arrogance. Now, the story has some great pacing to it, using the relatively short runtime to create thrilling and suspenseful situations that then lead to intense character chases. The camera work and the editing, they're handled well so that we get the sense of urgency and movement, but we don't have to experience shaky cam that can cause nausea. Now, there's enough lead up to the scenarios where some dread can also be established. Now, most of it is rather predictable, but that doesn't remove the unease or the anxiety. I mean, you can feel the mounting anticipation of fear that builds just as characters are stalked through hallways or maze-like spaces. I really appreciate that not all of it takes place in the dark. There are plenty of well-lit scenes that are fully illuminated, removing a lot of conveniences for either the killer or the victim to hide in obscurity. They have to be more witty and thoughtful in their actions, and what makes any on-screen killer menacing is the determined walk of somebody who knows that they'll accomplish their goal and catch their prey. And this movie's killer has a great walk. And because the costume is that of some wonky clown, it's even more freaky. I'm not talking American circus clown here. This one's more shapeless. It's got a very round face with these misshapen eyes, this wide open black hole for a mouth. It's unsettling and would probably make you pee a bit if you encountered it in a deserted space. Now something else that really works for this is the violence. For a slasher, we expect blood and gore, right? Here, we get that and some excellent kills to go along with it. Most aren't original, but they're still captured well with tons of blood spurt and then wince-inducing actions. And these are the kind of kills that you can verbally react to. It's probably also a ton of fun to watch with a bunch of friends so that everybody can audibly gasp and groan as a character meets their demise. Now, the kills are also typically accompanied by some musical sting to enhance the demise. And funny enough, though, it works. They provide a sense of motion or action, even though what's on screen is clearly actioning and full of motion. But even with the fun of the pursuit and the gloriousness of the gore, there's one massively glaring shortcoming for this movie. It's pretty much a direct ripoff of Scream. The motivations, they might be different, but beat for beat, this is going to remind you of Wes Craven's slasher masterpiece. I think what's most annoying about this is that it removes almost all of the mystery. Now, I was still playing the guessing game of who the perpetrator was, and I was sort of right, but the setups, the twists, the misdirection, and the execution, <laughs> no pun intended, it, the really, it's just a Spanish retelling. If we're honest, too, there are a lot of movies that share the premise with Scream. I mean, there's I Know What You Did Last Summer, even Hot Fuzz. They share elements, so it's not a reason to completely write this off. Luckily, it's also only 90 minutes long, so it's a quick watch, and it's also fun. I think if you're looking for something original or shocking, keep looking. But if you want something energetic with stress, unease, and spectacular gore, this is an enjoyable way to spend an hour and a half. Overall, Killer Book Club falters by relying heavily on a familiar storyline, but shines with its urgent tension, camera work, and gory character kills. Most of this is highly predictable, with just enough character development to root for a victim, but the mystery of the killer isn't as obvious, leading to a satisfying guessing game. There's sex, a little bit of nudity, a bunch of profanity, and then a ton of brutal violence. I give Killer Book Club, or El Club de los Lectores Criminales, three out of five couches. So we're getting close to spooky season. What are some horrors that you like to watch? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me.